Schools can play a really important role in creating physical activity in a community context. The curriculum can be used to immerse students in physical activity experiences where they can develop deep understandings about movement and what movement means for communities. Students can become active participants in creating healthy, active communities, starting with their own school. So Despi, uh, tell me how you've managed to incorporate physical activity into the curriculum. Um, first of all, every morning, or just about every morning, I try and go out for a walk and talk session. So it helps the kids settle in for the day and um, get their thoughts the together timer on it for 10 minutes. Um, and we basically pretty much go around the, the um, oval, which is a like a mini aths track. And kids can either, it's up to them, they can run if they want, they can jog, um, they can walk all of it, or a few of them um, stick with me and we run the straights and walk the, the curves. And do they talk? Yeah, we talk about everything. We talk about what they had for tea last night, what we're doing during the day. They talk about everything. So, and yeah, how do you think that helps them? Um, helps them to build relationships with each other, helps me to build relationships with them. Um, but it also, well I think, it gets them um, doing some sort of physical activity each day and it's just part of their day. Not The days I haven't done it, definitely I notice once they get difference. back in because they've had their chat, they've talked, they've laughed, they've joked, whatever, they've got to get out of their system and they're they're ready. They're ready to work. The days we don't do it, the classroom's loud. The days that we do do it. So Jesse, how else have you managed to incorporate physical activity into the curriculum? Uh, we, um, in, well in year four, we're doing a lot of work, uh, walking excursions. Um, we're heading out and walking around our local community. Uh, a lot of the time those are taking between two and three hours to finish up. Um, we only did um, two of those walks this semester, but um, it pretty much showed the kids that they could be within walking distance um, to school. At year four, last year I introduced Sport Ed, um, where the kids pretty much run their own sport lesson, game or of whatever sport was organised so that um, it was a three on three situation and kids who were sitting on the sideline waiting for a go weren't sitting, they were umpiring, coaching or scoring so everyone has a role to play. Uh, bike Ed started last year, it's um, aimed at the year fours and we basically teach the kids about road safety um, through using their bikes. One stage we had 150 bikes in the school grounds because of that, because 100 year fours were doing it and 50 other kids across the school were doing it. So um, during that time though, over those weeks, we had more kids riding than any other time in the year. Another thing that we're doing is we have a Travel Smart Committee at school and the kids um, are involved in that. They're in Year 5 and there's a group of them with, who work with two staff and that's reported back as a subcommittee of school council and we report back once a month to school council. Parents also sit on that, um, on that committee so it's a real community kind of um, committee. So how can Phys Ed as a subject think more broadly about what it does and who it accesses in terms of physical activity in the community. Physical education needs to be more of a life kind of education. Physical education is not just about being physical, it's about being well and that means um, being part of something bigger than just an individual playing some sport and physical education needs to reflect the greater needs of health and wellness in our community so it can't just be um, learning how to play sports because sport isn't just physical education, it's only a small part of it.